hi everyone and welcome in this video we are going to see how we can use cap server x iot gateway okay so there are four types of iot gateway you can use in cap server so if you go to add agent and then you can see four type of iot gateway or iot agent you can create here so first is a rest client rest server entity client and things work but in this video we are going to see how we can create uh, MQTT client agent and we can publish our data from cap server to MQTT broker and on the other side we have our MQTT client which will receive those data in a JSON format and we can see the whole communication that MQTT is sending data and our client is receiving data through the cap server IoT gateway okay so we have to first set up the cap server iot gateway with our uh, mqtt broker and then after we will set up our client to communicate with our mqtt broker and it will subscribe to that topic and it will receive that value which is published by cap server iot gateway okay so first of all we have to create an agent so we can click on add agent to create an agent which is our mqtt agent so mqtt agent mqtt agent and type is mqtt client okay and then we have to press next now we have to fill some information about our mqtt broker so where is your broker running so it is running on my local host at port 1883 and which is tcp port and on which topic you want to publish your data so i want to publish my data at cap server x iot gateway okay and publish qos at least once and we want to publish at a rate of thousand millisecond okay and then we have to press next after that we have to set up our client id and we have to put the username and password to connect with our mqtt broker so client id will be cap server x mqtt client and username will be admin and password is also admin so this username and password is a uh, fix for my mqtt broker i have set it as a admin and password okay so i have to put it here username and password for connecting with my mqtt broker now we can press on finish to complete the uh, agent creation so now you can see iot gateway is using jre at some location so if your iot gateway is giving you some error that you don't have jre installed in your system then you can go to this website okay www.java.com download and you can download java and you can install java in your system and then after you can restart your cap server and you will not see that error again okay so i have faced that error that java is not installed in my system so i have to visit this website i have to install java and then after my iot gateway is working properly okay so we have created mqtt agent successfully now we have to add some tags which we want to publish to our mqtt broker or our mqtt client can subscribe to okay so we have to click on add iot items i can scroll down and go to simulation example and then function i will choose this first three ramp one ramp two and ramp three okay and then i'll press apply and scan rate thousand millisecond and i want to publish that data at every scan okay because my data is updating at thousand milliseconds so that is why uh, i want to publish the data on every scan so we will press ok and we will set it to enable so it is ok now you can see mqtt agent mqtt agent is connected to broker so our cap server is successfully connected to our broker now it is time to set up our mqtt client so we will go to our mqtt explorer software i'll give you the link of mqtt explorer software from where you can download this software so here we have to put our ip address of our mqtt broker so it is my 127.0.0.1 port is 1883 and username and password is admin admin so let us connect okay so you can see cap server x iot gateway which we have created okay and it is publishing data and data is published in a json format you can see json format here okay now if you want to see the graph of ramp one tag then you can click here 
you can see the complete graph of ramp one tag and if you want to see ramp two tag in a graph then you can click on this um, add to chart panel so it will add it to here and if you want to check for ramp three you can check it here okay now if you want to add some more tag in this you can see only ramp one ramp two and ramp three is added in this json format now i want to add more three tags so i go to cap server i click i right click here new iot items i scroll down and then go to function and i want to add random one random two and random three so i have to select this i have to apply and scan rate thousand millisecond and i want to publish the data at every scan rate so it is okay now i can go back to my mqtt explorer okay which is not responding right now okay it is responding now you can see random one is available here so i can add to my chart panel okay where is random one okay sorry random one and then we can add random two here random two and also random three okay so you can see our chart is here and our cap server iot gateway is publishing data to mqtt broker central mqtt broker which is running at 127.0.0.1 on the port number 1883 and here is my mqtt explorer which is acting as a mqtt client which will subscribe to this topic and it will read those values from json format you can see history here so where it got last updated okay so this is how you can use your mqtt agent or we can say mqtt agent iot gateway in the cap server you can publish your cap server data over the mqtt and your client can subscribe to that data and we can use that data so in case of some scenario you have cap server installed in your field uh, and you want to send data over mqtt to your scada system or any higher level enterprise system then you can use iot cap server iot gateway and mqtt agent to send those data and you can uh, on the client side or on the um, enterprise side you have to extract that data from json format and you can have that data over the mqtt so this is how you can use cap server iot gateway so if you have any question any concern or any doubt with the cap server iot gateway creation or troubleshooting then you can ping me on the telegram you can ask directly over the mail or you can also comment on this video the link of this java i'll provide in the description of this video as well as where you can download mqtt explorer i'll also provide that in the description of this video okay so i hope everything is clear to you and we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you